Um, what led me coming to the YMCA was uh, I was in a relationship with someone down here. Um, unfortunately, it didn't go well. Things kind of went south and I kind of had nowhere really to go. I was kind of sleeping in bus stops and under shop doors because I had nowhere to go. I didn't know what to do. This was the first time I actually in my life I was pretty much on my own. Um, so yeah, it was very weird being homeless. I never thought actually in my life I'd actually be homeless, but I was. Um, and then I kind of just slept rough, slept under bus stops, shelters, alleyways, forests, anything that I could feel safe. I, that was my situation of before I found the YM. I used a, a place called Night Stop. They put me up in people's homes and then they then they are the ones that actually suggested to go to the YMCA Exeter. My mental health at the time was taking a huge beating because obviously I was kind of feeling actually I'm um, something's not right with me. I wasn't really feeling myself, I wasn't really sleeping much, kind of wasn't being the Dan I know I used to be. I think then on it just took a bit of my confidence and I kind of thought I'm just yeah I'm just that that's it that was all I was I wasn't really anything I didn't feel like I was someone I just felt like I was a object like a point that was seven years ago ready come on come on Dan is now living in his own house he has gone from homeless to homeowner when Dan did live at the YMCA, he was surrounded with specialist support to help him get his life back on track. It's great to catch up with Dan seven years later. What happens if the YMCA didn't come into my life, where would I be? I wouldn't, now, you know, I wouldn't have a wife, I wouldn't have a home, I wouldn't have a stable job, I wouldn't have any of that if I didn't go down that alley of actually, I actually need to find somewhere to stay, I need support, so yeah. I think without the YM, I wouldn't have what I've got now. It can take quite a long time for people to turn their lives around and significant investment to do so, but the outcome is so worth it. I wouldn't have Henry, I wouldn't have my wife, I wouldn't have a house. I wouldn't feel successful, I wouldn't be, as, as my, my dad said, I wouldn't be Dan. I was 20 years ago, 10 years ago, I wouldn't be able to enjoy my life so thank you for your support.